guys, so this is another video request I'm going to do for a subscriber on this channel. And they said in the comment section, um, Joel, you should do a video on why you should never believe anything a narcissist says. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And the reason why you should never believe anything a narcissist says is because they're point blank, period, full of shit. They are full of it. We all know this. You know this. I know this. And the reason why they're full of shit is because everything to do with who they are is just manipulation. It's so sickening to the point where if you actually have one around you and you're smart enough to know anything, you will notice that every single word, every single thing that comes out of their mouth it's not even logical. It's manipulation. It's delusion. It's lies. It's very deceiving stuff. And it's sickening to death because you cannot bond with an actual human being. You are with a robot. You are with somebody that is so far in the gutter that it is not even funny. And I, I, I can never understand how somebody could let themselves get down to that low. I can never understand how somebody can get themselves in that very position. And I understand that a lot of things have to do with somebody's upbringing, but still. It's like, do you not see how other people are? And what other people are doing and you still want to stay stuck in your immature weird ways like you know you're messed up and you still don't want to come out of it it's it's, it's mind-blowing to me I will never understand it and half of these people know they're messed up and some actually like some of them believe that they're not which is even scarier and I'm telling you guys this now, I've known narcs before that have existed that literally don't know what's wrong with them. They know something's wrong, but they don't know what's wrong. And some are even more delusional where they, they don't even think anything is wrong. So, <clears throat> and I know people to this day in person that are like this, and I actually called them this before. And they just, oh yeah, you wish. Why didn't that? Why why would I wish you were a narcissist? Are you all right, buddy? Are you all right? Why would I wish you? That makes no sense. Why would I wish you were a narcissist? I don't wish anybody was a narcissist. Are you are you stupid? Do you know how much better this world would be if people like that did not exist? But unfortunately they do. And unfortunately there's always these insecure people that just, they do what they do because of their insecurities, because of the, the holes they have in themselves. <clears throat> they say things so much and so many times and so often that is not even true. These insults, these lies, this manipulation stuff, it's all to get in your head. It's all to make you believe you're not as good as you are. It's these cowards that say stuff like this. Absolute low-life cowards. And I do call people out, like in person, whenever this behavior comes near me because I know what's happening. And if you can act in a way to make me think or to make me say that you are a narcissist, best believe you are a narcissist. Best believe that because it's going to take something else. You can, throw, you can throw these backhanded compliments at me. You can do things like this and I'm not even going to say that. You have to do something pretty severe for me to 100% say that you have a personality disorder. You are a narcissist. Best believe you crossed the line and you did something 
So crazy. So to left field. To make me say something like that. You have. And you've done it. And it is what it is. I know a narcissist whenever I see one. I know these individuals for what they are. And I even, I let a lot of things slide with some people. But I know, I, I still know, like, what they are. I still know. They think, they, they, they think they're fooling everybody. They think they're doing all these things to fool everybody else. The only ones they're fooling is themselves because they're not fooling anybody else. And it's laughable. It really is. There's so many reasons why you should never trust these individuals. You can't trust them to be a good friend. You can't trust them to keep their word on something. You cannot trust them in a relationship or you cannot trust a relationship partner that is a narcissist. You cannot trust narc parents because they're messed up themselves. They can't even help it because they're so not themselves. Don't depend on them. Don't depend on anybody else. Depend on yourself. Get yourself to where you want to be. Get away from all these reptiles, parasites. It's this dark cloud of energy that is always going to be around you as long as you are around these individuals. I never, I never even realized how toxic my past was until like you get away from it fully. It's very bad very bad and I don't even mean my entire life just like certain moments and certain parts it's like you don't realize how bad it really is until you get away from it like this world is changing people are really changing and I, I, I've witnessed good people turn into narcs turn into bad people turn into people who completely lost themselves and there's a lot of people that are living through other people's identities, and it's a very dangerous thing. There's people around my age right now that are having kids that are living through their kids. They're not living for themselves. They're living through their children, which it's going to catch up to them in time, right? And I'm going to tell you guys what's going to happen. Their kids are going to get to the adult age and they're going to lose their kids. Whenever they lose their kids and they have no control or power over them, they are now powerless. They lost such a big purpose in their life. Now they feel very empty. Now they feel that void. Now they feel toxic within themselves. And this is just how it goes. Not for every parent. Not at all. The right parents don't let this happen. The right parents are very accepting of their kids growing up and to get themselves out to do what they're going to do and the parents continue focusing on their life and keep doing good. But toxic parents are living through their children. They use them as a purpose to live. And you know what? Sometimes it's not even like the worst thing in the world in some cases, but some people just take it way too far. And it's to a point where, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying you don't want to care about your children, you obviously do, but you have to see life as a forever evolving thing until the end of time, until you're actually dead. Like, you can't hold on to certain things longer than you should. You have to be responsible at every turn that comes your way. You have to play the cards right for what's actually happening in front of you. You can't hold back your kids. You can't hold on to your kids. You can't stay in your kids' lives forever and hold them back. You have to let them go and you have to continue to focus on your life because guess what? You are still alive and you have to keep going yourself. You can't live through your kids. And a lot of narcs want to do this because they want to gain that power and control because they feel powerful. 
Whereas maybe they were a kid, and, and a lot of narcs honestly grow up to want to have kids very, 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 very fast. Like, you have females talking about wanting to have kids and stuff like this at 16, 17, 18 years old. And they might have a kid at like 18, 19, 20, 21 or something like this. And not every female, I'm not saying every female that has a kid at an early age is a narc by any means, but... A lot of narcs do this and think like this because they were controlled whenever they were growing up. Now they crave control because they felt controlled. They want to play by their own rules and by their own book. Now they're going to do the exact same thing to their kids because they were controlled like this. They're going to control their kids and live through them. And it's going to be like a relief because they're like 360 in the situation of what happened to them. Now they feel in control, they want power, they don't want to be controlled because it's complete. It's a very, very, very bad life to be controlled. It, it keeps you trapped, it keeps you away from your real self. And like you can see clearly why they would want to do this because they want to feel more like themselves. But then like I said, their kids grow up and um... The narc parents get to a point where they lose them, lose control, and they lose themselves once again. Now, that world for them has died. Now they struggle to find a new world for themselves outside of their children. Now they have to keep living. And how are they going to do this? How are they going to be fulfilled? How are they going to continue to live without being empty? There's always obstacles in life, guys, and you always have to find a way to solve every puzzle. You have to find a way to solve every problem that life throws. There's going to be new problems all the time. You can't just hide from your problems. A lot of narcs are too weak to solve problems. They're running from every problem, and they just don't want to, you know, solve anything or grow as a person. And I know people like this in real life, so, that I even used to be close with. Not anymore. Because I'm on that forever ending growth road, and they are so stuck it's not even funny. You don't even know who they are. I don't even know who anybody, who anybody is basically in my past. I, I really don't. They're probably the exact same person. I'm so different. I do not want to go anywhere near them. Not even close. Uh, the last thing I want to do is be held back and controlled. That's the last thing I want to do. And I do not want to do this to other people either. <clears throat> I simply want to put out an example for everybody else. It's not about control. It's about the example of how you should live. And whenever I have kids, and this is something I'm thinking about before I speak too fast. But whenever I have kids, if I have kids. I am not going to put anything on them. I'm going to teach them so many things and get them into so many things. And we're going to find out their strengths and we're going to find out their weaknesses. And we are not going to control these kids. And I'm not going to attach myself so strongly to these kids to, to the point where I'm going to get to a certain age that I was living through them. Now I'm nothing without them. We have to build them up. The family lives on. We build them up to the point where they're all right at the age of 18, 19, 20-ish. You know? It's not the other way around. We're not controlling them. We're not being dominant over them. I want my kids if I have them because things can happen too. <clears throat> I want my kids to be better than me. I want them to have everything better than me. I want to teach them how to be better than me. This is what I want, not the other way around. I don't want control like that. I do want to control things. I think everybody in the world wants some form of control, which I do too, but it's not the wrong controlling ways. It's like positive control. It's like controlling the things you can control. 
So it's like... I'm controlling the narrative to the point where I'm teaching them things. But I'm not controlling them because I'm not ever going to say you have to do this or you have to do that. We're going to give them options. We're going to give them tools and things and strategies and things like this. And it's the, the same goes for everything. But toxic people, like they, they just crave control because they have no control over themselves. If you have no control over yourself, that is where you want to come in and control other people. You have no control over yourself. That is why you want to control other people. That is why every time a, a, a female talks to me, and I can tell she wants some sort of control over me, and it's it's annoying, it's a turnoff, and it's like, uh, there's no way I can do this. I'm not trying to control you. Why are you trying to control me? And they see it as like, if they're not controlling you, they think you're automatically controlling them. And they don't like that. But no, you're not doing that. You're just more confident than they are. That's why they think you're controlling them. That's why they actually want to control you. But it's not like that at all. That's why a lot of females in today's society crave control so much. Because there's a lot more men that are more confident than a lot of these females out there. And that's just the truth. So, I hope you guys could take a lot from this video. I hope you guys did not misunderstand me at any um, at any parts in this video. We can talk about anything you guys want in the comments section. Um, I'd like to hear you guys' comments at all times. Um, sometimes I take a day or two or three off the comments. Sometimes a couple more than that. I keep doing the videos though because I just need a break sometimes from all the work that I'm doing but <clears throat> I always get to it no matter what I always come back to every single video guys I'm always checking all the comments I never miss a video so um, we'll leave it at that so I'm gonna get out of here now I hope you guys have a great rest of this day slash evening I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos guys until next time peace out